hello people I'm going to give a tutorial on how you can change your WordPress uh, domain name uh, back to back to the initial domain name you had um, usually when you change your domain name in WordPress for example uh, this this is what this is what happens um, for example let's say you change your your WordPress domain name to something else uh, let's say review like initially it was uh, initially my domain name was FIFA World Cup 20, 2014 news.com but we're, got, we're going to change uh, this name to uh, FIFA World Cup uh, 2014 review dot com let's say we change it to review dot com and I'm going to demonstrate to you the error that, that occurs when you do this and how you can fix it. So you've changed your, your domain name to a different name. And you save. This is what happens. You get an error. And you will also not be able to log back into uh, your original website. You see here it says review.com and my initial website was news.com so there's usually uh, an error that occurs when you when you do this because this domain name is not registered to me and it's not the initial name of the website so so if, if you are changing it to link uh, a different website then yeah maybe that could work but if but if you wanted to change your name of the the name of the domain name without without like registering the 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 domain name that you're changing it to then you're going to get this error and what this error does it it locks you out from uh, from uh, accessing uh, accessing WordPress right so let's 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 try um, let's try logging in uh, my to my initial website it's going to give me an error you see it was news. Let me try doing that again. If I walk up news.com. If I walk up news.com. See, I put in news here and it changes, goes back to review.com because this name is this domain name is not registered. Uh, so, how to fix this problem? Um, what what you're going to have to do is you have to go to your control panel in HostGator. That's if you're using HostGator, and I'm pretty sure the 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 same steps apply to uh, apply to the other C panels because they basically have the same uh, options. So what what you're going to do here is you're going to look for files because what we're trying to do is um, fix this problem here we want to get back our, our original uh, domain name we need to change that to so so that it could display our web page and we could have access to WordPress so we're going we're going to have to go here to files locate the file section in your in your C panel and here it is and go to file manager and click on file manager so here you should see your initial website with the initial name the initial domain name and that is what you need to select and the next page um, in the next page on the on the names you need to you need to locate the WordPress config config dot PHP once you leave and, and in this case here WordPress config.php here it is you right click this and view so we chose we chose some PHP coding here um, you don't need to worry about this too much we're, we're only coming here to to get the name of the of the database that's the database of, of the website that you changed the the domain name 
So you need to locate DB name, define DB name. You need to locate that line. And it's, it's really easy. Here it is. In fact, it's in the first page. Define, define, define DB name. This is what we're looking for. Define DB name. So what, what we're looking for here is the, the number of the website that you have. Let's say if you have only one website, it will show WordPress one. And that's what we need to, to, to be looking at. In my case, it's WordPress two because this is my second website. So we chose here WordPress two. So when we go to the database, we're going to access WordPress two because that's the website that we need to change the domain name to, to the initial one. So uh, we're going to cancel here. Make sure you, you get the name of this. In, in my case, it's WordPress 2. In your case, it could be WordPress 3, depending on the number of websites you've created and, and in, in what order the, the website uh, that you're trying to change came, came in. So in my case, it's the second website that I'm changing. So you need to uh, just uh, keep that in the back of your head. You don't really need to cram it um, and then we're going to cancel here the cpanel and the file manager that's because that's all we need to know to, to get from there and then we go to the database section see here is the database section in the database section we need to go to the PHMe, php my admin and click on it once we click on it, it will bring up um, the database. So on the left section of the database, we need to we need to go to the to the to the web to the database name that that our website has. So in our case, it was WordPress two. Again, in your case, it will be a different WordPress depending on the the, the DB name that you that you that you um. That you're able to to identify so for for my case it's wordpress 2 and this is what i'm going to click on and on the left section again of the menu we need to go to options here wp options we need to click on that once we've clicked on it um on the main screen you can see there's a database here with a, with a table. So uh, on the menu here of option name, you need to look for site URL. For me, it's uh, here's my site URL, and this is this is what is currently being displayed in WordPress, and it's giving an error. But this is not what we want. This is what we changed it to, but it's not what we want because it's giving us an error. So to change this, we need to go to site URL, and we will also need to go to um, the home, the home option name. So we need to change two things in the option names: the site URL, sorry, um, the site URL, and the option and and the, and the home op option name. So site URL and op home option name; those are the two. Uh, variables that we need to change for for our website to go back to running so as you can see here FIFA World Cup 2014 review it should be saying news instead so on the same row of the site URL we click on the pencil here uh, it enables us to edit this this uh, option value which is the FIFA World Cup 2014 review.com we're able to change that domain name when you click on the on the pencil icon it brings you here so here is where you're going to change it you see review this is what we changed uh, in WordPress general settings and this is what gave us an this this made the, the website uh, give us an error when we try accessing it so what we're going to do is we're going to change it back to FIFA, FIFA World Cup 2014 news.com okay make sure it's the initial um, domain name that you had before you changed it okay so um 
make and also make sure down here uh, the the uh, drop boxes save and go back to previous page or set and then click on go so you have changed the site URL to the original to the initial um, site URL of your website so for World Cup 2014 news so that's fine the, the second part is we need to locate the home option name here we need to locate the home option name here in my case um, the home option name is not is not on my first page here but if I look around I don't see the home option name so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next uh, table of the database and look for the option name home okay so on the option name column I'm looking for home here and I find it home and it says here FIFA World Cup 2014 review.com it should be saying news so we basically, we're basically just going to sorry but don't click on that um, we're basically just going to um, uh, change this to what it, it was initially just the same way we did for the site URL just come to the pencil and click it to edit the the you the, the domain name here so uh, FIFA World Cup 2014 news that's what that's what our, our initial domain name was and the drop boxes here must be uh, save and go back to previous page so here again I'll make sure it's the initial um, domain name that you had okay so um, and then we will we'll select go so we have changed it here I'm pretty sure it's going to show yes we would have changed it there uh, it says FIFA World Cup 2014 news and that's what we want now um, after doing this you can cancel this page and you can try um, accessing the, the your WordPress website again so uh, in my case it's FIFA World Cup 2014 news and here it is it's working again so I hope I hope this uh, this tutorial was helpful to you and thank you for watching bye bye